Ever wondered how to make a no-bake Oreo cheesecake at home? Ah, the allure of the no-bake Oreo cheesecake. It's a dessert that combines the creamy richness of cheesecake with the satisfying crunch of Oreo cookies. This is more than just a sweet treat. It's a culinary experience that doesn't even require an oven to create. The simplicity of this recipe, coupled with its mouth-watering outcome, makes it a fantastic dessert to whip up in your own kitchen. Stay tuned as we dive into the easy steps of creating this delightful dessert. First things first, gather all the necessary ingredients. We're going to need Oreo cookies, the star of this dessert, lending that irresistible crunch and rich chocolate flavor. Next up, cream cheese, the backbone of any cheesecake. It brings the creamy, smooth texture we all love. Sugar is here for that sweet touch, while butter will bind our Oreo crust together. Heavy cream is added to give our cheesecake a fluffy, light consistency. And last but certainly not least, a dash of vanilla extract for that subtle yet essential aromatic touch. Each ingredient plays a crucial role in creating our no-bake Oreo cheesecake. Now that we have everything we need, it's time to get started. The first step in our recipe is preparing the Oreo crust. This is the base of our no-bake Oreo cheesecake and sets the stage for the creamy goodness that follows. Start by crushing the Oreo cookies. You don't need to remove the cream filling. It adds to the flavor and helps bind the crumbs together. Once you have reduced the cookies to crumbs, mix in some melted butter. This acts as the glue that holds our crust together. Now it's time to press this mixture into the bottom of your chosen pan. Ensure that you apply even pressure as you press the crumbs down. This helps to create a firm crust which is crucial for the structure of our cheesecake. A firm and even crust ensures your cheesecake won't crumble when it's time to serve. And voila! Our Oreo crust is ready, it's as simple as that. With our crust ready, we can move on to the cheesecake filling. Scene script. Next, we'll whip up our creamy cheesecake filling. To begin this delightful process, we'll first take our cream cheese, ensuring it's at room temperature. This is important to achieve that smooth, creamy consistency we're looking for. Be sure to beat the cream cheese until it's nice and fluffy. Then, we'll gradually add in our sugar, continuing to beat the mixture until the sugar is fully incorporated and the mixture is smooth. Remember, patience is key here. We want to avoid any grainy texture in our filling. Now, it's time for the vanilla. Adding the vanilla extract will lend a subtle depth of flavor that perfectly complements the sweetness of the cream cheese and sugar. Once that's blended in, we'll pour in the heavy cream. This will give our filling that luscious, velvety texture that makes cheesecake so irresistible. Finally, the star of our show, the Oreos. We'll gently fold in our crushed Oreos, ensuring they're evenly distributed throughout the filling. This will give every bite a burst of that beloved Oreo crunch, beautifully contrasting the creaminess of our cheesecake filling. Now that our filling is prepared, we're almost done. Finally, it's time to assemble our cheesecake and let it chill. The moment of magic, when our luscious filling meets the crisp Oreo base. Start by spooning generous dollops of the cheesecake filling over the crust. Now, using a spatula or the back of a large spoon, spread the filling evenly across the crust, ensuring it reaches every nook and cranny. Don't be shy, make sure it's a thick, creamy layer. Once the filling is spread, take a moment to smooth the top. You're aiming for a flat surface that's as smooth as a calm ocean at dawn. Now comes the test of patience, the chilling. This is not a step to rush. In fact, it's the cooling process that allows the cheesecake to set properly and for the flavors to truly meld together. So wrap your cheesecake in cling film and let it chill in the fridge. A good rule of thumb is to let it sit for at least six hours, but overnight is ideal. During this time, the filling will firm up and the Oreo crust will take on a delightful crunch. The wait may be long, but trust me, the result is worth every ticking second. And there you have it, a delicious no-bake Oreo cheesecake. All that's left is to dig in and enjoy.